Hey everybody, Kevin here from KC Photography and Design Studios. Today I'm going to continue with iPhone photography by reviewing an app for creating bokeh. I'm trying to pronounce it correctly, but if you really want to know the right way, I put a link down in the description that should be helpful. Although not true bokeh, this app basically masks out an image and blurs the portion not masked. True bokeh is circular discs formed as a result of blurring the background. So after a quick search, I settled on an app called Boca Lens. It was 99 cents and you can find it in the App Store. When I open the app, there's a small camera icon in the upper left corner with a prompt to start here. After clicking the camera icon, a dialog asks you to navigate to a photo to apply the effect to. After the image is loaded, you'll be prompted to create a focus mask. What this does is define the area in your photo that will remain sharp. Being a Photoshop user for years, I'm used to masking, and this pretty much is the first step in creating the effect on your image. As I started to use it, I noticed just a few issues. Sometimes when painting the mask, my screen would jump. Other times, when I lifted my finger, placed it back down, the tool wouldn't react right away. I had thought that in order to enlarge and shrink the photo, you had to use pinch. I found out later that in order to leave the image enlarged and proceed with your mask, you would use two fingers to scroll the enlarged image. I did like the fact that in order to be more precise, there was a picture-in-picture, -picture, so you were able to see your edges clearer as the image was blown up even larger in the second window. I found that the more I did it, the easier it got. I'm pretty sure that this same effect could be created more precisely in Photoshop, but for editing and creating this effect on the go, this app worked just fine. As soon as the mask was created, you pressed the Done button and the image was processed. After processing, there are adjustments for the level and the mask feather to refine the image. Once that was done, all you had to do is save the image. This is a single effect app, so there are not a lot of controls or settings. Basically, it's loading the image, painting your mask, and processing. I think overall it's a decent app, but I personally thought it was hard to control the painting with the fingers on such a small screen. I found myself going over mistakes, but in the end the effect ended up being pretty good. I think it's worth having in your bag of tricks. Well that's all for now. Don't forget, always keep learning, and we'll see you again.